Good morning, everybody. It is a Thursday morning. Uh, good start to my day. I actually made it a lazy day. Um, still recovering from an injury, so I decided to uh, skip the gym and just kind of sleep in, relax. Um, check out the Facebook pages a little bit, have a little uh, goofball fun there. Um, real quick, before I get into my shave, um, hopefully this will come across on camera, but it had been asked about aggressiveness of razors. Not really got to polish these up a little bit, but uh, a single edge razor. So I want to show the difference between the the bullet and the G bar. I, it's hard to tell if it'll show on camera, but I could tell from my eye. I'm trying to make sure they're lined up the best I can, but from my eye off camera, the bullet tip has a little bit uh, bigger blade gap. Just what I've noticed. Um, and I also kind of get a different feel there. I still need to do a little more research. Um, if anybody else has found the research, please let me know. Um, I would like to see that, but uh, I'll check it out. I meant to do that this morning, but I'm starting my shower, now I'm shaving. But today I'm gonna use my featherweight. I'm gonna use, as an apology to the Cyberts, I'm using my Smoke 2000. Uh, Darren loves the Smoke 2000. And I found out yesterday, for the longest time, I've been mispronouncing their name. I've been calling them the Seabirds, as most of us probably do. Um, but it's actually the Cybirds. So something new. I'm going to use their Integrity Balm. Really loving that stuff lately. Um, through the Fire Finecraft Wisp aftershave. And then for my soap. A soap that I've been uh, dying to get my hands on for a while. The Sapono Finicio Veracino. Um... It's the Dolomiti scent, and I got this because it actually contains the silt from the mountains, uh, mountain range that I lived by for two years when I was stationed in Italy. Um, but according to uh, the scents, it's top notes of lemon, sage, um, florals of uh, floral body note of lavender, clove, black pepper, and then you got a little cedarwood, vetiver, and patchouli. That's uh, kind of the notes that they have there. But that's been uh, blooming. I just got the refill puck um, from for $24.95 for 5.3 ounces at Phoenix Artisan. And at some point I'm gonna get a container for this, but haven't gotten it yet. I have done one test lather with this before. Um, if you guys want a really, really good review on this, uh, check out the Shave Tank. I know he, uh, I can't remember his exact review on these soaps, but I know he's a huge, huge fan of uh, of these soaps. It's got a very, um, as he put it, and I can, because I can, I'm not European, obviously. Um, he said it's a very European kind of uh, scent, um, what you would get there for like an Italian kind of scent using the almond um, oils and stuff like that. But he said, uh, at least the, I think it's the three that he's tried so far, um, the regional scents kind of remind him of different places. Um, so yeah, this just has a kind of little mountainous, I, I get the, I get the uh, sage in there. I get a little bit of lavender. There's some woody notes in there. That should be plenty load. It's a very, very clean scent. They've been uh, making soap since 1945. I don't know about uh, shave soaps. Oh, and uh, my pre-shave in the shower, Dr. Squatch's uh, Cedar Citrus. Uh, figured it'd work out really perfect. Kind of a match the woody, kind of earthy notes to it. So, yep, so they're the Cyberts. Not the Seaberts, the Cyberts. Learned that thanks to uh, an interview yesterday that was uh, published. I'm not a sharpologist. I'm hoping not to break out with this. Um, P160 with its almond product in there I've had issues with and I got rid of it. I pissed it off to a friend of mine in town. I'm hoping that uh, that won't be a problem here.
See, it's lathered up very, very easy. Beautiful scent. Um, it's not very strong. They're not trying to overpower you, which as you guys know, I usually prefer a stronger scent. So uh, this is more of a delicate scent, but it's there. Um, yeah, that's still what I'm picking up. That uh, sage, woody kind of type smell going on. Just very, very pleasing to the nose. Like I said, it's not very strong, but it's just enough to let you know it's there. I want to thank everybody for that uh, watch through the latest soap battle um, using Barrister and Man. It was a lot of fun to do. I know uh, my final uh, winner surprised a lot of people, I'm sure. As usual, I will uh, check the slickness second, second or third pass. These featherweights, uh, I just saw one recently, a guy had one with a black handle. I hadn't seen that before. Um, but they're very nice. Yeah, just uh, super light, but uh, give a fantastic shave. There's a Tombstone uh, Southern Arizona meetup coming uh, the 25th. I'm excited for that. I'm going to probably pack up most of my den. So, put it all in my uh, gym bag, most likely. Um, figure, bring stuff, let people sniff. That way, uh, I know it's helped me going to like the Phoenix Lab or when I when people send me samples. So I think it'll be uh, nice to you know for those who do show up to be like here. If you haven't smelled something, and I have it, go ahead and smell it. May bring a spoon and give up some samples as well. I got enough soap. Yeah, very. And now when I say fresh and clean on this, I don't mean like usually with like a, a citrus in it, like, oh, that's really fresh, you know, that kind of, it's usually the way I describe a lot of that. But this is just very, uh, I guess, neutral. Yeah, it's definitely, uh, it's one that uh, I would not recommend to, say, like Peter Charkalis, who, like me, likes strong scents. This would not be one I would recommend, just because it's a very light scent. Um, What I like is this, I, if I'm, I'm not one, as you guys know, that really worries about matching aftershaves versus scents and all that. I do it on occasion. But uh, this one you can match with a lot just because it is so uh, kind of mu more muted in scent. And it also, uh, even look at the notes, if your nose does pick up a lot of those notes, it covers a wide variety. I guess you could almost say in some ways, uh, covers a, a big gamut of, uh, the sense that we normally have in shaving. It's got that 
a little bit of citrus, which is really hard to pick up. It's got that woody note, so it work with sandalwoods and other wood, uh, you know, type of aftershaves. I forgot to check slickness. I guess it's going to do a third pass. Um, it would go really good with, you know, I would say with a Fougere aftershave too because of the woody notes and it's kind of got a, a mountainous kind of scent profile to it to me. And I got to smell all three. They've got a new one out. I think it's a mango or something. Um, Phoenix didn't have it, so I didn't smell that. Um, I thought all three were really nice. The They were all, you know, softer scents, at least to my nose. I actually couldn't fully appreciate this one until I left the uh, PA lab because there were so many other scents around there. And you can see there's a lot of lather on there. So far, I'm not getting any irritation from the uh, almond product. So maybe it was just uh, the P160. So it makes me maybe want to try uh, Cella. I love that smell. Definitely good slickness. Uh, this is 100% uh, vegetable base, you know, or vegan, I believe. Um, so that's their Formula Beta 4.0. I don't know how many, uh, I guess they've been on four different versions. According to uh, the Shave Tank, these guys, uh, at least one of them is actually a perfumer. So that to me is a... Uh, Pretty cool because you got a long history of uh, building scent profiles and all that. I really love that this does contain, like I said, the silt from the mountain that I uh, I skied on, drove up. I mean, think of the uh, crazy Italian motorcycle riders. Those guys would be coming down the switchbacks. And they'd enter a blind corner on the way down, swoop across the lane, and dart into your lane. Not a care in the world. Alright, let's see where I'm at. You know, this is, I can tell a high quality soap just by the little bit of water I added, the slickness that I feel right now on my face, I would shave with this. And then just when I touch the soap that's on my face and my ear a little bit here and bring it to it, how quickly it works. And you can just feel the glide. Get that little spot there. Yeah, I'm just going to get that. Just that one little spot, I'm pretty pleased. It's... Probably don't have to do that, but I will. All right, I'm gonna pause as I've been doing lately and uh, start my cleanup, and I'll be right back. All right, everybody, I'm back. I already put the uh, the integrity balm on uh, just to give me a little bit of menthol. While that's drying, I'll uh, quick talk through, just so you can see the different parts of the way the soap comes. The refill pucks, 5.3 ounces, like I said, comes in this little uh, plastic little deal there. And for now, I'm going to use that and put it back in the box. So that box is a nice, sturdy box. Comes wrapped in this little paper. Really good presentation. Um, of course, you're shaving with the soap, and this soap performed fantastic. Before I put the balm on, my face felt really, really nice. Um, like I said, simple design on the box, but just looks really nice. The puck itself. I've got in my bowl right now, but good size puck. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to be storing it on a little soap dish for now until I get a container to let it dry in. That way it dries, and then uh, I'll put it back in a little plastic container when it's all said and done. So on to the Wisp, which is a barbershop type scent. Now with these, you'll be careful with the through the fire. 
mentioned this before, but the uh, flow control on this, or the regulator, is a little uh, huge. So, you'll be very careful not to overuse the product. Shave my head tomorrow. I should have done it today, but, yeah. What's another day? I might do it tonight after work. We'll see. So all in all, um, I am extremely impressed um, with this soap. The Dolomiti scent, like I said, it's very clean, very easy, very, uh, very approachable. Nothing really... Uh, crazy scent wise it's not um not a scent that you're going to find um repulsive you're not going to find it everywhere it's a very kind of a classic type scent um to what i understand and talking with others i'm very pleased i really enjoyed it the performance of the soap was fantastic you saw how easy it lathered when i cleaned up the knot i had probably at least enough for a good another two passes if not more and i don't feel like i loaded that long so that's what i got uh hopefully everybody enjoyed don't know what I'm going to use tomorrow. I got some samples, so I'll probably break those out. So, God bless everyone, and we'll see you tomorrow.